Hey guys, Jason here, Sam Cole Workshop. Today we're talking about why Jeep has the wheels outside of the body and we have these big fenders on here. And there is a reason that they do it. There's a reason for this Jeep looking so iconic and like it does, and it's more than just an appearance thing. So if we look at this vehicle, we notice here when we look at this straight on, we have these, we have the wheels here, and we have these huge fenders that stick out. Okay. Wheels, fenders, same on this side, wheel, fender, in the back, wheel sticks out, fender, body inside. And there's there's a couple of reasons that this is done this way. And uh, it doesn't matter if it's a Gladiator or a Wrangler or whatever you got, but same thing. When we look down in on the side here, wheels and fender stick out farther than the actual body of the vehicle, front and rear. So why, why do they do that? Why is it? Why not make this cab come all the way out like other vehicles do where the whole body line would then come out to over the tire so you know right in line with the tire here to give you all this extra space this extra inches here why not move there's doors and all this stuff out wider and have the truck come right to the end of the tires and give you more of that width inside the vehicle why do they not do that why is it set up this way well the reasons for it is because this vehicle is 100 percent made for off-road use Okay, that is what it is designed for, is for off-road. By putting the wheels as far forward as we can, which if you look at that, no vehicle out there today beats the approach angle of a Jeep. Okay, if you were to remove this bumper and put a stubby bumper on there, you could almost climb straight up a wall, okay, because of that approach angle. And they do that on purpose. They can move those wheels all the way forward and have that ability by getting those wheels out this way compared from where the body is. So that's one thing. And it gives you those wheels out on the four corners as far as possible. But also, by having them set up like this, we have wearables, okay? Your body is not a wearable or disposable item, okay? You get damage, you get damage here, you're in trouble. You get damage to a door, you're in trouble. You get damage to this rocker here, you're in trouble. You get damage to this, you're in trouble. Damage here, you're in trouble. Damage to this, disposable, couple of bolts, easy to replace. You get damage to this fender, disposable, couple of bolts, easy to replace. So they give you those beautiful options and also, Anything that's going to be here as far as brush or obstacles, your tire can climb over it and then push it out of the way or protect your body. Notice that the body of the vehicle is set way inside of where these are. So if you're going to hit something with this fender or your tire first, your body is very well protected. That's the whole reason behind leaving this Jeep this way it is. It gets the whole part of the vehicle that is most susceptible to damage. It costs tremendous amounts of money to replace. It tucks it in. It sticks the wheels out and it gives you all that body line protection and prote you know to make sure that nothing bad is going to happen to that. Every other vehicle out there is going to extend the body out here where the edge of the fenders are. Extend the bed out where the body is, or where the edge of the fenders are. Any damage is going to hit that is going to damage a fender or damage a front clip or any of that kind of stuff. Here with Jeep all that stuff is set back and tucked in and lets the tires do all the work and it has the fenders to protect you. And you'll know it because if you smash and you end up hitting right here, yeah, you're out, uh, you know, 100 or 200 bucks to replace this, but at least you did not take out your grill, take out your hood, take out your front fender. You didn't do all that damage. All you did is broke a fender. Same in the back. If you cut a corner a little too tight and didn't realize it and you catch a tree and that tree catches right here on this fender, you broke a fender. It's 100 bucks to replace it. Your tire hits and stops the whole thing from, you know, from going any further. You did not damage a quarter panel. You did not wreck anything. That is the reason... The Jeep does this. And now you'll notice on my Gladiator package, you also have some have steps, but this has actually got rock rails on it as well, too. These are to protect it from any damage if this thing tips too low and then you tip it and end up catching a rock or a stump, something there. It protects that body panel. So the whole purpose of 
Jeep's design with the wheels sticking out is to protect the vehicle from off-road use and make it more capable off-road. And they've done it successfully. They've done it successfully for 80 years. There is a reason that the Jeep is what it is and it's so iconic. And again, there's a lot of great off-road vehicles out there, but this is a factor not a lot of people think about. The fact that Jeep designed it and has it set up to minimize body damage and trail damage and problems you're going to have out there and make it better. Even the rock in the mud in the you know the thing rock thrown from your tires now you can see i get a little bit of mud on here still but you have no idea how much these fenders actually catch i mean it's unbelievable how well this stuff works and the fender is doing most of the work any of the mud coming up it's coming up from down here below the fender and just squeaking underneath this i could put a mud flap on here and save that whole entire thing but it is so well protected by having that body inset um, and tucked in there that it just it, like I said look at my back fender look at a condition that's in all the time there in my hinges Okay, I mean just caked on mud all the time here. Look at this. Okay. It's just it, it is what it is It's a part of life for this thing Could be fixed with some mud flaps on there if I wanted them, but that body that body is tremendously protected being inset in from everything else and uh, you can just see it even in the appearance on the front Notice the hood tapers in. The hood tapers in on both sides. It's got a taper line that comes in right here on that hood. Everything is made to protect it and minimize damage to the expensive parts of your vehicle. Let the wheels do the work. The big, huge bumper that goes all the way across. A lot of people get rid of that, and that's okay because their tires are there, but um, the purpose of that whole bumper is to protect everything knock brush knock everything out of the way get it out of there a lot of people think this is just a thin plastic bumper and it is a thin plastic bumper but it has a whole metal frame you can jump on this sit on this dance around on it okay it's not going anywhere it's a rock solid bumper better than any other bumper on a stock truck for the most part that's out there it works fantastic the design of all of this everything here is for complete protection of your vehicle that's the whole concept because this thing is 100% built to be used off-road and to be taken there. And they know, and Jeep knows that when it goes off-road, it's going to deal with things that could possibly damage it, scratch it, beat it up, hurt it. So it wants to protect you from that. Is it giving up a little bit of cabin width? Yes, but not, not too much. There's still a ton of room on the inside of this thing. And no vehicle out there in a the mid-sized world gives you as much back room space as what this thing does okay mine I, I live in mine mine's always a mess I, I straight up live in it and it's a hunting tool for me but the amount of space and size inside of here is unmatched by any other midsize so you get a tremendous amount and even the interior space with with across you can tell the width across the vehicle basically by the council the center council shows it to you because that's where the seats have to be a certain size so it's this council right across here that basically tells you how wide a vehicle is when you look at this council. If it's a real narrow council, it's a real narrow vehicle. If it's got a big wide council, it's a bigger width across. You can tell because the seats have to be a standard size seat for the most part. But you can see that this has still got as much room inside as pretty much any midsize truck does um, as far as the width in here too. I'm not measuring it and playing that kind of game. But point is, you're not giving anything up with this as far as any of that interior space is. Yet, you gain all of that major expensive componentry protection, the body panel protection, the uh, the paint protection by having this, and by Jeep being able to stick those wheels way out here and get them out away from everything, you get that tremendous approach angle and that tremendous capability with it. So just a little tip for you on why Jeep is what they are and why they look the way they do. Is it iconic? Yes. Is it, um, you know, been that way for a long time? Yes for good reason it is those reasons alone it is a capability of a purpose-built machine that to the public to the general public nothing else can match out there as far as actual capability and this is just one of those little bonuses that jeep offers that many people don't even know about or think about why it's that way they just think it's that way because it looks cool it's not it is built to be protecting everything so there you go thanks for watching